What's up my Crusaders for Christ? Y'all know the joke. Go to YouTube. Go to the at sign. Go, go, go team. Like and subscribe. I pray that you are all having a very blessed Holy Week as we go through the journey of the cross. Today is the day where Jesus cleanses the temple and he curses the fig tree and he God starts to prepare those who will accept his sacrifice. Um, so I pray that your lives are in line with God's will today and always. Which I think is why we need to keep talking about repentance, um, which we're going to finish up today. But before we get into that, I want to thank you all for stopping by and listening to Robert's life verse and testimony. You know, the go, go, go guy said that he saw that that's where this was going to go, into a direction of that nature. And um, I thought it was kind of silly because I didn't even know what I was doing whenever I first started. Sometimes I'm not even sure. What I'm doing, it's all through the Holy Ghost that things fall into line. So, with that being said, if you guys would like to share your life verse and your testimony, I'm finding a way to do Zoom. Um, but you guys can get to me at the Go 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 Guy Ministries Facebook page um, and let me know. And we can set up a time and we can, you know, it's, it's just sharing your experience, strength, and hope. And allowing others to, to see your vulnerability and know that it is only through Jesus Christ that we have salvation. So let's jump into repentance. Um, in the light of God's compassion, we're called to repent. Acts 3.19 urges us, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Repentance is the first step towards redemption. Acknowledgement of our sins um, and the need for salvation to turn away from our sinful ways is step one. The good news is that redemption is available to all those who believe in Jesus Christ. John three sixteen, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Through faith in Jesus Christ, lost souls can be reconciled by God and receive the gift of eternal life. As we conclude our reflections on lost souls according to scriptures, we need to be reminded of the urgency to spread the gospel, to hear the gospel message, and to help seek those that are lost and in need of salvation. We need to be the instruments for God's love and grace, sharing the good news of redemption with all who are willing to listen. I love you with the love of the Lord, and let's go, go, go. Tell the world about Jesus.